The New York Times is now writing that Trump has already begun to prepare a campaign against Harris. In your opinion, how ready, in principle, were you for the fact that Biden would withdraw his candidacy, for such a development of events, for the fact that now it is no longer worth fighting against Biden? Because we heard Trump's latest statements in just a few weeks, especially after the attempt on his life, that it is now necessary to unite with Biden and there is no need to conduct any campaign against him, but now it is necessary to unite America in principle. Do you think a campaign has already been prepared against Kamala Harris and what could it be? To be honest, you know, about a couple of weeks ago, Nikki Haley addressed all Republicans, saying that big changes can take place in the ranks of the Democrats. And we need to be ready for a new Democratic candidate who will have an advantage over Trump. This is exactly the advantage that I have already mentioned above. In other words, she stressed that it would be much more difficult to fight the new candidate than with the same Biden. And she is right a thousand times. These polls that I gave you above, they just show that in the new pair, Harris and any other, for example, the same Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, they already prevail over Trump in these swing states. This suggests that there is a lot of work to be done. Trump's only weapon to convince the average person to vote for Trump and his running mate, his partner, is to talk in more detail about how he is going to change both domestic and foreign policy. Not in general terms, I would be different, not just talk, I will pump oil and so on. This is one question. Another question is how you are going to, for example, resolve the issue of immigration, not just by deportation, but, as I have already said, I would start the process of legalization. Those who have been in this country for a long time, who have already had children in this country, they are still considered illegal, and there are as many as 20 million of them. In foreign policy, it is very important not to fight at all, but to start looking for ways at the diplomatic level primarily with China. It is China that today is a key link in resolving both the issue of the war in Ukraine and in the Middle East. It is China that today is the main oxygen of both Putin and Iran. We need to start with this. And Trump has a wonderful philosophy of success in business, what is it? It says that in any business, you will never have what you deserve. You will have exactly as much as you agree on. He has already proved this from his past. And today it can be applied, and it will be used with China, for sure. It is China that can close the very oil donor oxygen in Russia and the end, and set conditions together, for example, with Trump in front of Putin. If you don't leave in 24 hours or in a week, let it be a week, beyond the borders of 1991, we will give Zelensky the weapons that Putin and the Kremlin will simply destroy. Quite possibly. By the way, Trap has this in his head, he has already talked about it once, it is quite real. Boris, thank you very much. Thank you for the information that you told us, for joining our broadcast. And in fact, very interesting conclusions now, what we talked about, suggest themselves. Thank you for joining us, Boris Pincus, American politician, leader of the Republican Party of the 45th District from New York.